Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Trade Trends Gaming. We are back for another episode of Los Santos Live PD on LSPDFR. And it is just an hour short of the New Year's. Everyone has had an amazing holiday season. Hope everyone has had a great Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Thanksgiving, or whatever you celebrate. Just happy holidays to you all. And uh, today we're going to be embarking on another episode, like I said, on Los Santos Live PD with, of course, the one and only Trey Trans. Today we're going to be embarking on a patrol with the uh, State Trooper. That's right, the San Andreas Highway Patrol. And we're going to be using our good old friend Leroy Jenkins. So please grab your drinks and your snacks because this will be another great one. I do want to let you all know that I appreciate all the love and support you want for people who have been the Trade Trends channel. And I hope you continue to do so by liking, subscribing, and of course, commenting down below. Now, I do want to give a special shout out to all the long-term subscribers as well as the new subscribers to the channel. I just want you to know that I appreciate all the love and support and it does not go un noticed now without any further ado let's go ahead and hop into this episode like i said we're going to be taking out the state trooper now this won't be a long one but it will be a good one and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh hop out we got on uh, our winter jacket as you can see the weather is a bit cold out today and we're going to be using uh the san andreas highway uh san andreas state trooper excuse me patrol vehicle model after the georgia highway patrol and we go check out the ELS and we go get right into this one, all right? We go get right into this one cuz like I said it won't be a long one but it will be a great one. Starting off with our stage 1 lighting. Let's go ahead and change that up a little bit. That ain't too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Slow it down a little bit. Alright, now that works for our stage one. Let's go ahead and move on to our stage two. Uh, we'll keep this as our stage two and I'll go ahead and do you a quick wrap around the stage two. We do have the traffic advisors in the back with the all blues on this beautiful Dodge Charger. And then we got our stage threes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Loving the all blues as you know, the all blues are my favorite. We're going to go ahead and head on patrol. Let's go ahead and get in touch with dispatch. One Lincoln 18, dispatch. One Lincoln 18. Show me 10-8. Going to be on patrol uh, out of Sandy Shores. Acknowledged. One Lincoln 18. Proceed with patrol. All right. We're going to head out to the interstate and do a little traffic enforcement today. We do have our lidar radar gun. So we're going to be using a radar gun today. Uh, we might use our uh, ALPR light system we do need to fix our lighting real quick and the ALPR light for those who don't know is uh going to be our automatic plate readers so the plate reader is going to be able to tell us who is and who isn't driving illegal all units we've got an SOS distress signal off the south coast for possible terrorist activity. Dispatch units from uh, Fort Zancudo. Use of deadly force authorized. Oh, man. Looks like the Coast Guard will be busy tonight. Roger, K. Roger, David, Charles, 12. Units respond, code 3. All right, that should be good right there. Let's go ahead and head out. Now, I know it's been a minute since we have uh, dropped a episode. It's been about three months since we dropped the episode here on the Trade Trends channel. But uh, we're going to hit 2024. It's pretty hard. I want to do a whole 365. That's dropping a recording or a live stream every day this year. Let's go ahead and make this left on a East Joshua Road. Head to eastbound. Uh, I really, I mean, this, this uh, content creator does mean a lot to me. I really want to make a career out of this one day. And... 
we have no choice, no choice but to be monetized this year. Let's turn that off. We're going to head to the interstate, set up our, uh, <laughs> find a nice spot to set up our, uh, speed radar and uh, see if we can catch somebody speeding on this New Year's Eve. I do want everybody to... Report a robbery at Earl's Mini Mart. Units respond code 3. Well, we will respond to that. We will respond to that. Let me go set up some uh, radar here in just a second. Copy that, dispatch. I hope everyone has had an amazing Roger, New Year, man. Code three. And drop in the comment section below what you did for New Year's. I'm excited to hear what you guys got into over the holiday season. There goes the sheriff's unit responding to that call. Now, that's a nice little spot up here that I do like to set up at, so I think that's where I'm going to go. And then we'll work our way down to the interstate. Matter of fact, we're going to start on the bridge this time, man. We're going to start on the bridge. You know, down here in Georgia, that's where they like to set up. Uh, I lived up north for the past, like, what, five, six years? And, uh, but I grew up down south in South Georgia. And they do a little different. I like that a lot. Let's make sure he ain't uh, gonna be there by himself. Officers report a possible 148 in Santiansky Mountain Range. We do got a pursuit in progress. Well, like I said, I've been wanting to do some speed enforcement for a little while now, so that's what we're gonna start off with on this patrol. And then we might take a call after that. But like I was saying, we start after she get done talking, but we start off in, in Georgia, they like to do things a little different. They love to do things a little different. They like to uh, set up on the interstate, man, the interstate exit ramps or on the bridge versus up north, they like to set up in the median. In a second. Sorry about that, I had to fix my headset before that guy decided to run into me. Now since I'm set up on the interstate, I usually like to black out. You know what I'm saying? I usually like to black the car out a little bit. But instead of blacking out this time, since we are set up on the interstate and it is dark, we're going to keep our lights on. Like we got to fix some lights. Let's go ahead and fix that up. And then we'll get our little dark radar set up. Now, I think it's going to be about, what, 55 coming through here? 60, 55 coming through here? And then it turns into 70 a little further down the road if we head uh, north. I wonder if I can do it this way. Thought I had him going 73, but he's going about 66. So we'll pull anybody going about, yep, we got one. We clocked him about 75. Let's see if we can catch up to this guy. Let's see what he on a, in such a rush too this afternoon. I should I stay this evening?
One Lincoln 18, dispatch. One Lincoln 18. Show me on traffic stop. I'm going to be northbound, US Route 13, Sanchez Knocking Mountain Range, uh, 1046. Go ahead. Alright, let's go see what this guy got going on. Hey, how you doing, sir? Trade Trans Los Santos Highway Patrol. You doing alright this evening? All right, so upon approaching the vehicle, I do smell a strong odor of alcohol and narcotics from inside the vehicle, and the driver seems to be a little nervous and sweating. You doing all right this, this evening, sir? Now you have to explain to my date why I'm late. Yeah, I got. I guess you got to, man. You got uh, any idea why I stopped you just now? Nope. But I have that officer. All right, man. Well, I clocked you back there going about 75 and a 55. All right, so it's gonna be about 20 over. All right. Where well, you headed to in such a hurry? You in? Going to see Cat Williams at the Comedy Club. That's where you have your date at. All right, man. Well, I don't want to keep you any longer than I have to. You got your license insurance proof, your license registration proof of insurance. You're gonna slowly reach for it, so I don't shoot you. Oh man, you don't gotta worry about that. Let's go ahead and hand it over. All right. All right, Mr. Justin, huh? All right, uh, Mr. Reef. Uh, sit tight. I'll be right back with you. All right. All right, man. Uh, far go, man. You got anything legal in this vehicle? I'm smelling a strong odor of narcotics coming out of this vehicle. Live PD told you not to answer that one. All right. Now, man, I just want to know what's going on with you tonight. I know it's uh, New Year's, but any reason you're so nervous right now? Not at all. All right, man. Sit tight. Definitely smelling a strong odor of narcotics coming out of that vehicle. So we are going to be calling in uh, some backup. One Lincoln 18, dispatch. One Lincoln 18. Requesting traffic stop backup. Again, I'm going to be at 1046 northbound US Route 13. Assistance required on uh, Sonora Freeway. All right, so let's do some investigation to see who we're dealing with. Like I said, uh, this guy seems a little bit nervous for me. Does come back to uh, Justin Reef. Registration as well as insurance is going to be valid on the vehicle. Let's see if this guy is valid. He's got a valid driver's license. No previous arrest uh, history. He does have a valid gun permit. Uh, previous citation is going to be unlawful contact. Parking in front of a fire hydrant. Age 29. So we're just going to see what he got going on tonight. Wait for our backup unit to arrive on scene. Set up this window. All right, we got a backup unit driving on scene. Let's see if we can get a canine unit out here as well. Hey man, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Go watch him. I'm gonna get a canine unit out here. All right. Hi. Buddy, said, let's see what that suck come up with. One Lincoln dispatch. One Lincoln eighteen. Uh, requesting a canine unit at 1046. Backup needed in Santiansky Mountain Range. All right, Mr. Reef. So look, man, I don't want to keep you out here any longer than I have to. But I am, uh, like I said, I'm smelling a strong odor of uh, narcotics coming from out of this vehicle, man. Uh, you got anything illegal in here? It's going to be your last chance. You still don't want to answer that? All right, well, we're going to get a K-9 unit on scene, and uh, we're going to move the K-9 unit around the car. Now, I want you to stay inside the car. Yep, you can stay inside the car if you want to, man. You can stay inside the car, but we're going to run this dog around this vehicle and uh, see if we got any problem calls. Like I said, this dog is going to let us know, so it's your best bet. It's your last chance to let us know if you got anything inside the vehicle. Would you like to comply at this time? All right, man. All right, so sit tight. Hello. 
All right, so this guy's got a strong odor of narcotics coming out of the vehicle. We just want to do a canine mm -hmm. inspection real quick. You can go ahead and run a dog. Go keep an eye on this guy. Why are we running this inspection? Alright, so the K9 didn't alert chain of contraband, but like I said, this guy's speeding, he's going about 20 over. Uh, that's enough of reckless for me, man. That's enough reckless driving for me, so. Yeah. Alright, do me a favor, Mr. Reef. Go ahead and hop out of the vehicle for me, alright? Stop! Follow me back here to the car, alright? Man, I'm smelling a strong odor of alcohol coming off his breath, too. Walking kind of funny. Now, I'll get a little closer to the car, Mr. Reef. I don't want you to, uh... I definitely don't want to see you get hit by no car or nothing like that, all right? Right there is good. Now, Mr. Reef, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I am smelling a strong odor of alcohol coming off of your person. Now I want I want you to be straightforward with me, okay? I do want you to be straightforward with me. You said you noticed some alcohol coming off my breath too. I mean, man, it looks like you barely able to stand, and you're so nervous and you're sweating too. Your deodorant sucks. <laughs> All right, man. Seriously, when was your last drink, Mr. Reef? About six hours ago. All right, so Mr. Reef, at this time I am gonna suspect you of uh, DUI. Alright, so, uh, I just want to know, would you consent to a, uh, roadside sobriety test? No need for that, you're totally fine. You don't seem, you don't seem, uh, you don't seem too well about that. You don't seem too well. Would you consent to a, uh, roadside sobriety test? You don't want to consent to a roadside sobriety test? Alright, man. So, look. I do have to let you know you do have the right main solid. Anything you say can you use against you in a court of law. You got a right to an attorney. If you're not afford an attorney, it won't be provided for you. You understand the rights read to you today, Mr. Reef? Alright, good deal, man. So, look. This is how it's going to go, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pass you down for our safety, alright? Now, uh, I'm going to give you one more chance. Now, do you consent to a uh, roadside sobriety test? All right, Mr. Reef. So look, at this time, I'm gonna be placing you under arrest. All right. Go ahead and turn your hand, turn around, put your hands behind your back for reckless driving and uh, DUI. I do think you're under due to your driving, as well as uh, the smell of alcohol coming off your breath. I do suspect you being DUI at this time. Now I'm gonna take this time out to go ahead and pat you down. You got anything illegal on you that I should know about? Anything about stick poke me? On me any type of way. Nothing on you. All right, man. We'll go patch you down this time. Just keep facing the car. Oh man, good thing we did pat this dude down. He's got some blotter papers, one gram bag of white powder, travel size deodorant. He did say it didn't work for him. One ounce of brown powder in a tin foil, and a 16 ounce tin powder in tin foil. All right. All right, Mr. Reef, what's all this stuff on you, man? Boy, boy, you got a lot of stuff on you, huh? All right, so this is what I'm going to go do. I'm going to sit you back here in my car. We are going to be searching your vehicle this time. And that's just something you want to go ahead and tell me. All right, we can still go that route. The suspect's not going to be compliant at this time, but we are going to be searching this Bobcat for any uh, additional... Signs of narcotics. A 
possible I call an impairment. All right, so we got several photos of LSBD on the cover cars, 80s rock CD, and baseball bat. So not really anything of interest in the truck, but he's got a hell of a lot on this person. We're going to be running some narcotics field tests, see if we can get a hit off on uh, some of the narcotics we found on this uh, person. We're going to start off with that one ground bag of white powder. Most likely that's going to be what the rest of the stuff is as well. Alright, so we got a positive hit on cocaine for that narcotics field test. Do me a favor, go ahead and step out, Mr. Reef. Alright, Mr. Reef, I found a narcotics on your person, man. You want to talk about that at this time? I mean, you done any drugs recently? Is that why you're you feeling high now? Alright, man, I appreciate your honesty. Now, would you consent to a uh, roadside drug scene? How you gonna do that either, huh? Alright, man, so look. My partner's gonna collect some drugs, a drug swap sample from you. Hey, right, nobody lives gonna be touching yours. Nobody lives gonna be touching yours. Just gonna do a uh, quick drug, drug swap, alright? If you're clean, you shouldn't have to worry about any of that, alright? Alright, Mr. Brief, your vehicle's gonna be towed this time. We're gonna be taking you to the county jail, alright? I right, sit tight. And he did come back positive for cocaine for that drug swap kit. One Lincoln 18, dispatch. One Lincoln 18. Requesting tow service out here at Postal 1046. We're going to be northbound, US Route 13. Tow truck, assistance required in, uh. Santiansky Mountain Range. Yeah, suspect in custody. Suspect in custody at 1046. Assistance required in Santiansky Mountain Range. All right, Mr. Reef, you're going to be going to jail for DUI, possession of narcotics. Yep. Yeah, well, that's something you're going to have to take up with the judge, man. That's something you have to take up with the judge. We'll get somebody to transport you to the to the jail in just a second, all right? All right, man, just go ahead and have a seat in the car. Hey, if it don't bother you, don't bother me. You stand out here with him if you want to. All right, let's go ahead and call in the transport unit for this guy. And we're gonna be going back 10-8. One Lincoln 18, dispatch. One Lincoln 18. Requesting a transport unit out here with that suspect at 1046. Assistance required on Sonora Freeway. In Red All right, Mr. Reef, I hope you have a better New Year's than this, man. You got to make better decisions than that. I don't know where you're taking them. Code 401 Lincoln. No additional units. Attention all units. Code 4. No additional support needed. Alright guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I know it was quick. I know it was quick. But I just wanted to get something out there for those for this New Year's man. I'm definitely wishing everybody a happy holidays. Wherever you from. And uh, it's your boy Trey Trans. And we out. Until next time. Happy 2024.